Well, there's so many people inside Cook's Corner when that shooting began. Every person has a story to tell of what they saw and heard and experienced. KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen is at UCI Medical Center tonight where some victims are being treated. Now, Lauren, you have stories tonight from three people who are in the bar, in the bar and saw it all, right? Uh, Jeff, that's absolutely right. And the one victim that's here at UCI is actually the shooter's wife. But yes, we spoke with people who were inside the bar, including a friend of hers, friends of the band, and a customer. And they all said it was chaotic, and many didn't believe what was going on until they actually saw it with their own eyes. We're hearing this. And I was like, what is that, firecrackers? Betty Fushanti says the sound got closer and louder to the table she sat with her friend, Marie Snowling. He turns around and looks at us and comes around the front of our table. He shoots Marie, his wife. Fushanti says the shooter, police later identified as John Snowling, turned the gun on her next, but miraculously missed her. And he's going, and I'm like, and then I felt something going, I'm like, oh my God, this is real. She ran to the bathroom to hide. <laughs> Jacqueline Bass was in the bar and spoke with CBS reporter Carter Evans. I immediately called my daughter yeah. first. What'd you tell her? I don't really remember. I just said, shooter, there's a shooter. I said, can I come get you? She said, no, don't come anywhere near here. I'm going to find a way out. And she was just, she was terrified. She also texted her boyfriend. Shoot, ER, help, help. If something happens to me, know that I'm thinking about you. The shooter also took aim at the band playing on the stage. Then shot uh, Dave, our bass player, um, in the hip and uh, Ed, our guitar player, in the forearm. They're expected to be okay. Fruscianti says she saw paramedics tending to Marie. Everyone else consoled each other. We're all just like, oh my God, you're okay. Oh my God, thank God. Oh my God, you're okay. Yes, oh my God, thank God. Fruscianti says she hasn't stopped thinking about Marie, who she describes as kind, sweet, and one who never talked badly about anyone, including her estranged husband. I don't think she was even aware that he was coming. I'm like, I'm so sorry you're getting a divorce. This is a while back. So yeah, it's it's not an easy life with him. And again, Marie is in critical condition tonight, but the sheriff saying she's showing signs of improvement, that she's conscious, and speaking with her adult son. Reporting in Orange, Lauren Posen, KCAL News. Lauren, thank you so much.